Hi guys, Stuart Marie is back again with the second part of the story that we were telling you earlier on. Remember me, Catherine McGilvery pushing Jane Chalmers down the stairs to her death? Oh, oh yeah, if you haven't seen our previous video, go back and watch that first to get the background for what is about to happen next. This case is about to be blown wide open. So we've got a second eyewitness. This woman is called Jane Browning. On the particular day in question, mm -hmm. her and her pal were just round the corner, right near the bottom of Crichton Street, when they were alerted to this commotion. They're Betsy shouting. So the both of them ran round the corner up up into the stairwell and that's where they actually saw the dead body of Jane Chalmers. Now Betsy's standing right there but Jane says that it wasn't as dramatic as Betsy had actually made out. Now it was very clear that Jane Chalmers was dead but her head wasn't split open like a melon, her brains weren't hanging out, there wasn't a blood everywhere so she might be a wee bit over exaggerating this situation. She says that they were shocked obviously, ran away, got this doctor, took them about 5-10 minutes and by the time they came back Quite a crowd had gathered in the mm. stairwell, hadn't they? So a good five, ten minutes after that, that Catherine McGilvery actually turned up through the street into the closing, seemingly shocked by what was going on. And it's only then that these eyewitnesses say Betsy accused Catherine of the murder at that point. But Catherine's response to that was obviously, What are you talking about, Betsy? I've just got here, I don't even know what's going on. So with two very different versions of events, we're going to need to try and figure out what's For happened. Sure. So they decide to get Betsy up on the stand again. They're going to cross-examine her, ask her some more questions to try and figure this out. Problem is, Betsy starts getting really tongue-tied. You know, details of events start to change. She's getting really flustered. But then the prosecution say to her, look, Betsy, we we'll all know you're a bit of a girl about town, will we say? Well, see, at that point, Betsy lost her rag. And quite rightly so, to mm, be fair. Yeah. This boy's actually accusing her of something that's completely unsubstantiated, at least to our knowledge, anyway. Well, she starts she starts shouting and swearing mm -hmm. at this boy to the point the whole court's in uproar. The pair judge himself is trying to calm her down and then she turns her attention to the judge and starts shouting and swearing <laughs> at him. Well, he was hitting there, no, was he? No. He actually shut her down immediately, found her in contempt of court and jailed her on the spot. Well, there's no longer a credible witness in this case against Catherine because she'd just been jailed. Yeah, then the defence start to point out, say those stairs that Jane went down, actually, they were really uneven, they were badly kept, they were an accident just waiting to happen. To be fair, the prosecution couldn't actually disagree with that, and it wasn't just the state of that one stairwell just off of Crichton Street, or even the street in general, it was all of the stairwells and all of the closets. There were absolute death traps, this was just a matter of time. Yeah, now they also had witnesses coming up and testifying about Catherine's character, saying, what well, Catherine... Oh no, she is a lovely woman. Wouldn't hurt a fly, that one. Maybe the book had been judged best cover in Catherine's case. Well, we think the jury certainly thought so in this uh -huh. case. Only took them 10 minutes to come to their decision, and by a majority of 14 to 1, they find Catherine not guilty of murder. Now, Catherine's overjoyed by this, leaving the courtroom with tears of joy streaming down her face. Which is all fine and well. Well, what if the wrong book had been judged Betsy's cover in this case? Because, I mean, so what if Betsy was a girl about town, eh? So what if she did elaborate or yeah. exaggerate on her story? Surely the facts still remain that she was the key eyewitness to this event, no? I mean, surely she couldn't have made the entire thing up, surely, that she saw Catherine do it. But actually, when you think about it, even Jane's testimony, the other Jane, saying that it was five, ten minutes mm -hmm. later that Catherine turned up, Catherine had time to do both. She could have pushed Jane down the stairs, stepped over her, just as Betsy described. Mm -hmm. Walked out in a big circle, she had ten minutes, could have went away, had a cup of tea. What's the problem when you've got the, the balance of probability there, eh? Did she do it, did she not? And you've got all these eyewitnesses saying that Catherine was actually a really nice person and she was upstanding. And you've got these people saying Betsy's characters and maybe know the same. I mean, this is it. They didn't really have much physical evidence nope. back then. It was very much he said, she said. But we weren't members of the jury. It's not really up for us no, to decide. I'm pretty certain that Catherine got a hud of Betsy after she got out of the jail for her contempt to court. I know, after that, I bet you she watched her back on the stairs, not didn't have liked she? Her being in that close and she got a bit of telling you. <laughs> now, we we'll hope that you enjoyed that story in the kind of best possible yeah, well. sense. So, if you want to hear more stories about Dundee's history, especially its darker side and one of our dark Dundee tours, we do have a lot of tours that you can come and join on and hear other stories. For sure. Now, if you can't get out on the tours for whatever reason, maybe it's mobility issues, maybe it's mm -hmm. distance, feel free to go onto our website at ddtours.co.uk and read our bank of stories on our archives or just look back over some of our YouTube videos. That'll keep you busy. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.